everybody, welcome back, and it's time for my second video in my best of beauty, and today we're talking about brows and lips. I'm going to try and get through this as fast as possible, guys. Again, like in the first video, I know I'm talking about a lot of products, but that's because I try so many things and I rotate things out all the time. I shop my collection all the time, so these are things that have just called my name over and over and over again. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, the first thing I want to talk about are some brow products. Now, there's some things that I have been absolutely loving this year, um, and the first one I want to talk about is the Profusion Brow Palette. I love this. Now, not so much for this part of the palette. It's really just the powders and the highlights and the wax. This is such a great little palette. I absolutely love this shade. I love mixing and matching. It's so customizable. The powders are great quality. I'm wearing them in my brows today, and that's the only thing I'm wearing in my brows. I'm not even using a wax. So you get a eyebrow highlighter. You get like a nice, and these are great for the eye too. I have used them for simple looks in the eye or incorporated them with another palette. I mean, they're very soft. They're very blendable. And then you get the actual eyebrow shades, which are extremely pigmented, but they blend out beautifully you get such a nice range so if you want to do a bunch of different looks or if you are somebody who's starting out in makeup and you want to work on different people this is a fantastic product i believe it is ten dollars um, i'm gonna link all of these products down below so which i know i always say i do and then i always forget to do it because i'm a big dummy but this one is absolutely stunning completely in love with this product and I think it is just one of my favorite brow products of the year. Obviously, it's in this video. Stop saying that. Another product I want to talk about that I absolutely love is the Salon Perfect Brow Defining Powder in Universal Brown. Guys, it's another product that I've hit pan on. This is a $3 brow powder. I love it. I use the darker side for the majority of my brows. And then I'll use the lighter, taupier side for just filling in and feathering out the inner portions of my brows and just fading up and down, you know, you know, the detail work. I love this product. Again, it's three bucks. Can get it at the drugstore um, or Walmart is where I find mine. I think it's only in two or three shades, but it's probably one of the greatest $3 purchases I've ever I've ever had. I absolutely love it. It's a go-to for me. It travels with me. There's nothing fancy about it or the packaging or the product, but it just works. It's so good. Guys, all of my brow products are low, are not low end. I hate saying that. They're not low end. They're just inexpensive drugstore. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro HD Brow Pencil. I love this one. Now, I love the NYX one too, but I feel like the colors on this one are so, as far as I'm concerned, so much more right on because the brunette in the NYX pulls very red for me. This one pulls very cool toned, which I absolutely love. I am completely out of it. Like... The click of death. I hate that. So I need to repurchase this. I think it's gorgeous. It's not too dry. It's not too soft. It's just that perfect amount of waxy to really get in your brows, define them, go over with a powder or, you know, just feather out the pencil by itself. So again, you get the you get the spoolie on one side, which I really like because the spoolie on this is extremely solid. And then you get the, the product on the other side. And this one is like five or six dollars on their website. So such a great brow pencil of all of the brow of all of the brow pencils that I've tried. This one is by far my favorite and I need to repurchase it. All right, guys, I got to bust out the baby wipes because those were all of my brow products. And now we're going to be talking about lips. And I have to say, I feel like I restrained myself pretty well because we all know how I am with lipstick. It's not cute. So first off, let me talk about probably my favorite lipstick of this year. I think it has got the prettiest range of colors. I think it is a great price point. They're about $8. The wear time is amazing and it's the most unique product I have seen come out of the drugstore. I do not know why more people are not talking about these because they are phenomenal. And those are the NYX Full Throttle Lipsticks. These are waterproof. I say it all the time. These are weird. These are like a traditional lipstick that go on like a liquid. They have that slip, you know, liquidy feel to them when you put them on your lips. When they set, they set down matte. They are not 100% transfer proof, but they are pretty darn close and they have a gorgeous array of colors. And my two favorite shades out of this year or out of this line are Kiss the Dust, which is a really, really unique terracotta color pulls really, really brown on me, but you guys know I've been loving those brown and beigey lips. These go on, they, they feel like silk going on. It's crazy. And then this shade I'm wearing in combination with another lip color today, and this is in the shade Locked. And it is a beautiful, deep, like wine berry color. 
so super pretty guys I can't even explain the texture to you if you are somebody who likes the idea of a matte liquid lipstick but you don't want to deal with a matte liquid lipstick try these it's it's the weirdest hybrid combination like I said I don't know why more people aren't talking about these because I think they're phenomenal I do have one traditional lipstick that I really want to talk about you guys know I love traditional lipsticks as much as I love my liquid lipsticks this has kind of been a year of liquid lipstick for me which I don't think makes me any different than anybody else it's I am on that train but this is a shade that I absolutely love it is my go-to I'm telling you when I go on a cruise or I go to the Caribbean somewhere and stay this is my go-to lipstick it is so freaking janky um, because it just is that beautiful sexy gorgeous creamy nude and this is the Maybelline um, from their nudes collection and this is in 920 nude lust it is just oh. if you are a girl who does not have lips this color right here will make you look like you have lips. They're so, just make your lips look so sexy and juicy and beautiful. Love this color. It is definitely one of my all time favorite lipsticks. I mean, it just, I thought I lost it and I almost went out and bought it and then I found that I, um, that I had it. It was just in one of my purses because I love it so much. Before we get into the liquid lipsticks, let's talk about a couple of lip liners. You guys know that my favorite lip liners, if you watch me a lot, are Jordana. I think they're amazing, amazing quality. They're amazing price point. They're like two bucks and they have a great color range. And there's two that have just really kind of stood out to me this year. The first one is this one, which is called Rock and Rose. This is one of those colors that is, it's a nude, um, neutral nude, but it's got a little bit of a brown to it, but it's just got enough pink to it to where it can work either way. I actually love this one underneath this one. I'll like contour and fill in my lips a little bit with this one and then I'll go over it with Nude Lust and it's just gorgeous effect. And then I am in love. Oh my God, guys, this, that's all I have left. <laughs> And the lamp lift. Okay, I'm gonna go out and buy this one. This is in Cabernet. If you know, if you are like me and you love the deep, dark, vampy lips, this is again. I'm not gonna say this very often. This is an essential. It is so good. And for two bucks, yes, it works with any deep, dark, vampy lip. Whether it's more purpley, more on the brown side, more on the black side, more on the berry side, whatever it is, this is gonna just work so beautiful with it. And I cannot believe, guys, I don't use up products. That's, you know, so when I talk about, when I talk about a product that's that far down, that's just, again, it says something to me because I do not use up products because I have so many. Another product I want to talk about that I absolutely love that came out at the beginning of last year is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And I love them. I love the formula. I think my only complaint about that line was that I wanted them to come out with a expanded range of colors, which they have recently done. I've picked some up and they all look beautiful because the colors in there were just a little bit too bright, pinky, corally, peachy for me. But I loved the shade. This was a go-to shade for me. This is in the shade Tiramisu. I love it. It is a gorgeous, just kind of dusty rose with a little bit of brown in there. Stunning color. Again, it was the it was the lack of color range in the original launch and the, the smell is a little sickly sweet, but the, this is such a gorgeous liquid lipstick formula. It's one of those lip, liquid lipstick formulas that as it wears down throughout the day, it doesn't get really cakey and flaky. And on top of that, instead of having to take everything off your lips to reapply, you can just layer it over what's already on your lips and it's not gonna make it extremely cakey, gross, cracked. It's such a beautiful formula to work with. So if you have not tried these, I highly recommend them. If you're looking for a good, comfortable liquid lipstick, plus the new range, shade range is absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to buy them all. I didn't, I picked up like two, but so good. All right, guys, let's talk about some old school favorites for me. I will never get tired of using these liquid lipsticks. This is one of my favorite formats. It, it's not a liquid lipstick. It's a soft matte lip cream. These are the soft matte lip creams from, um, from NYX. I love this formula. They smell amazing. Oh my God. They smell so good. So good. Um, they smell like, like butter cream cake, something that's like buttercream. There's, oh, they smell so good. But anyway, the color range in this again is fantastic. I think these are some of the easiest products to wear. Um, I, there are two shades that really stuck out for me this year. The first one was Budapest, which I think is one of the most gorgeous shades I have used this year. It's very much like tiramisu, but it's going to be a little bit more on the berry side and it's going to have a little bit more depth to it, but it's, they could be sisters. So tiramisu is a little bit more brown. Um, and Budapest is a little bit more rosy and then Copenhagen. 
this color. This color with Cabernet, just that's that's all I that's all I need. It's just so pretty. And I will say with their deeper colors, you do have to build them up a little bit, but once you build those babies up, they are gorgeous. This is a shade that like men coworkers like male co-workers would compliment me on when I was wearing it and that just I mean that really says something when a guy looks at your lips and is like that lipstick looks really good on you you know the product's doing something right and this is just one of my absolute favorites I think these are great but I love NYX li um, lip products but I think these are so great I think they were so ahead of their time so ahead of the liquid lipstick craze um, and I, th I find them to be comfortable and just really really beautiful to wear and just fun to play around with. So if you haven't tried out this line, again, it's one of those lines that I absolutely love. I have like 25 of them. They're just fantastic. All right, guys, the next li uh, liquid lipstick I want to talk about is from Milani. I have talked about this one multiple times. I, this formula, I have a love-hate relationship with this formula. I think the price point is right on there, right about $8. The color selection, again, is beautiful. I have a ton of them. This is the one in Desire, um, which I've talked about this one in my favorite reds, my matte, favorite matte reds. I've talked about it in favorites videos. I just, the color is, let me just stop talking and I'll show you. The color is absolutely, incredibly gorgeous. It's bright. It's beautiful. It's like everything a red lipstick should be. And when it dries down, it makes your lips look amazing. Now, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's a pain in the ass to maintain and deal with because the formula is so dry that it gets cakey and gross throughout the day and it's hard to reapply, um, but it's one of those products where I just don't even care. I don't care because the effect is so beautiful that I will put up with the pain in the assness to wear this liquid lipstick. Absolutely one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorite reds and one of my favorite of the Milani line. The next lip color is from... Um, L'Oreal, and I'm actually wearing this in conjunction with the locked lipstick. This is the uh, um, Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in um, Aphrodite Forbidden Kiss. Forbidden Kiss. <laughs> Again, I love this formula. I think this formula is so comfortable. Um, I am not a gloss girl. I do have one like actual glossy gloss in here that I absolutely love, but there's something about the, I love the applicator. I love how precise you can get with it. It's a very substantial formula on the lips. It feels smooth and velvety, but I don't feel like it's going to slip and slide and go all over the place. For the most part, sometimes I do get it around here that I have to watch for, but you wear it with a lip liner, it's gonna help so much. I've talked about this before, but the range of colors in this line is absolutely sophisticated and beautiful and just lovely. And I just, I find myself reaching, anytime I have any kind of orangey eyeshadow on the, on the lids, I reach for this product. It's just a go-to, I love that. Um, juxtaposition of orangey golden eyeshadows with a berry lip and this is just I just like it it's comfortable it's good all right guys I have two more and then we're gonna be done um, and the first one is from BH cosmetics and this is their liquid lipstick these are eight dollars and this is in the shade muse I am in love with this lipstick this is one of those beigey grayy shades so gorgeous so out of my comfort zone not anymore but towards the beginning of the year such a just out there color for me one that I thought was gonna wash me out and not be flattering at all and the more I wear shades like this the more I fall in love because I feel like one they are I don't know there's something about them and I just like them they just I just like them they look flattering I feel like they look flattering on me which really is all that matters right um, it's one of those shades that makes me look like I have lips <laughs> which again if a lipstick can do that for me, I am all in. So I love this. It's not, again, one of the most comfortable formulas to wear, but for the color and for the effect on the lips, I will absolutely deal with it. It's not the worst either. Um, so somewhere right in the middle, and these are about eight bucks. Absolutely love it. Great range of colors. Definitely a standout this year. And then the last one I want to talk about is the Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint in um, Skinny Dip. I've already like worn everything away from it. This is such a beautiful nude. This is very similar to to um, Muse, except it's got a little bit more pink in it to where Muse definitely has more gray in it. So right along the same tones, another gorgeous nude that I absolutely love, very flattering. If you are fair, I highly recommend both of these liquid lipsticks. I think this is one of those underrated gems in the drugstore, the Tattoo Junkie lip paints. I have a bunch of them. Every time I see a new one, I pick them up because I always like them. There's one that I do not like 
as much as the rest of them, but I think they're a beautiful formula. I think they're comfortable to wear, and I love that they come with pigments and glitters because they're so much fun. I actually used the bright red one with um, the glitter in one of my Christmas tutorials. Um, and I'll link that down below if I can remember. Or uh, As I'm trying to get more into like all of the technical stuff with the end cards and the annotations and everything like that. So be looking for those and be looking for me to mess those up because it's gonna take me a while. All right guys, I actually almost forgot this one and I don't know how. This is the one lip gloss that I have just been going back to over and over again this year. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss or full on lip cream in white Russian. Guys, this is so good. If you wanna invest in a nice high end lip gloss that is comfortable, it wears like a lipstick, it feels cooling and plumping on the lips without stinging. It is just, it smells like chocolate. I mean, it's just the perfect lip gloss for people who do not like lip gloss. So if you are interested or if you're not a fan of lip glosses but you like the effect or you wanna maybe try out a brand that you think you might like, this one is absolutely stellar. It is so good and I highly recommend it. All right guys, but those are my favorite lip products and brow products of 2016. I hope this video was not too long. As always, let me know what your comments and um, favorites are down below. I love hearing your opinions. They just, you guys are the best. You just make my day and every time I get to talk to you, it just warms my heart a little bit. But guys, there will be another video tomorrow. I am not sure what it's gonna be. Please excuse my nail polish. It's chipped as fuck. I have been lazy. Like I really, I didn't even throw a bra on today real talk. All right, guys. But yeah, that's my video for the day. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out and talking about makeup with me. I love you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.